author of the book, The Amazing Dog Training Man. In this video, I want to talk about the Lhasa Apso. Lhasas, cute little dogs, a lot of fun, a lot of personality. The thing about Lhasas is that they're going to have to get groomed on a regular basis, so you want to make sure that your Lhasa gets used to it from an early age. If you get them as a puppy, spend some time handling them, get them used to their paws being handled, their ears being looked in, their uh, eyes around the eyes, looking at the teeth, get them used to these types of things because as I said, they're going to be handled quite a bit by their vet and their groomer. And the last thing you want is your Lhasa to be fearful or nervous when somebody's handling their paws or their ears because now it becomes very stressful for you, it becomes stressful for the groomer, for the vet, and if they're real difficult on the table, the groomer will charge even more. So you don't want any of that stuff. So get them used to being handled and you want to start socializing them from a very early age. Get them around a lot of different dogs and people and places, sights, sounds, and then start to teach them some simple commands. Sit down, stay, walk on leash, come when called. And the big thing with Alasa is teach them how to stand, stay. Teach them how to stand on the table and to stay there because when they go to the groomers or the vets, it's much easier if they understand those commands to brush them and to do the clipping and all the things that they need to do. Your groomer will love you for it if they, know, if they learn how to do a stand stay. So, do those things, start early, train using positive reinforcement, and if you'd like more information on training your Lhasa, go to my website, AmazingDogTrainingMan.com, and you can get my free dog training blueprint. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your Lhasa officer.